been a while since we've done one of these, and this time, I have a fluffy pillow. So I was reading an article on the internet yesterday, and like, the thing was so mean. It was the meanest thing that like, I've ever seen. And it was so unnecessary. I'm not even gonna link you to the article because um, I don't wanna give that person any kind of attention whatsoever. Basically, the content surrounded um, Britain's douchebag YouTubers. I don't know if that's the exact wording he used. I think it was more severe than that. But um, he spent like an entire article just tearing apart people like Alfie and Sam Pepper and those kind of guys. And I'm not gonna come out here and say that I'm the biggest pointless blog fan um, in the world because I don't even really watch those videos at all. They're not really my cup of tea. Um, but I'm not gonna trash these people either. I will say that I have in the past trashed what I call that type of YouTuber in the past. I've been on that boat before. It doesn't do any good whatsoever. All it does is add absolutely 100% unnecessary negativity into the world. And we don't need that. We don't need that. Um, but it did get me thinking a bit about things, um, specifically comparing yourself to other people, because I have been one to do this always in my life, 100% for always and ever, um, because it's really hard not to compare yourself to others, because when you see other people doing stuff that you want to do, or you think that you're doing better, um, the natural response is to get angry and jealous of those people, and that results in a lot of bitterness and, uh, and oftentimes negative things said. Um, I'm gonna take you back to high school really quick. I was competing in speech, um, really hectically. I was all over the place, and, um, and I was pretty successful, um, on a national stage. I was pretty well-known, people knew who I was, and I was really successful in most of the tournaments that I went to. Um, but I wasn't winning everything. And, uh, and by my senior year, that was really bothering me because I wanted to be dominant. I wanted to win everything, which of course, because I'm a competitive person, most people want to win everything that they do because that's, that's kind of, that's winning's great. That's, that's why winning's there. That's why it's a thing. But, um, I wanted to win so bad. And, uh, and oftentimes because I was competing on a national circuit, I got to know some people, got to be friends with really good people. And those people would win things and I would get really jealous of those people. And, uh, and sometimes I would talk behind their backs, and these are people who I claim to be friends of mine. Um, and I would say things in a way that, um, that made them look bad and made me look better. And what did that do? Not a single thing. It didn't change the results. It didn't uh, make me really feel better at all. It maybe numbed me for a bit and made me feel like slightly superior at the time, but uh, didn't fix anything and uh, didn't change anything either. In fact, it might have caused uh, self-fulfilling prophecy in some ways because I had all these things in my head, like I deserve to be doing better, and, uh, and it never happened. Flash forward to YouTube, maybe like a year, a year and a half ago, and I'm doing the same thing, doing the same exact thing with YouTubers. I'm seeing people, some people who I either know or used to know, watching them blow up on YouTube, and I'm comparing myself to them, and making up reasons as to why I deserve more success than they, they do. Um, and regardless of sort of what you're doing on YouTube, YouTube is like the biggest lottery. It's just the luck of the draw scenario. And it's just like, you can't really predict anything whatsoever because that's just kind of how it works. Um, but bottom line, if people are watching something, they want to watch it. You know, there's no use trashing stuff that you don't necessarily like just because you don't like it and because you feel like you're better than other people because no one's really better than anyone. And given that this is all creative stuff anyway, it's all subjective. And obviously if people are watching, they wanna watch and that's great. That's We should be cheering each other on, really. We should. Here's why comparing yourself to other people is bad other than all the reasons I just listed. Um, comparing yourself to people does not end positively ever. It doesn't. All it does is add negativity. And also, it's totally ridiculous, if you think about it, because your life is your life, and only your life, right? No one else is living your life, and you're not living anyone else's life. So, I, I saw a quote on the internet, and it said something along the lines of, don't compare your chapter 1 to someone's chapter 20, and I'm like, yeah, dog, for real, because that's ridiculous. 
everyone's got a whole different set of experiences, a different set of uh, memories, a different set of people in their lives. And there's really no use saying, I want what they have, because you're never going to have what they have. You're going to have what you have, and you're not going to be able to change what you have. Maybe you can, you can influence it positively, but you got to work with what you have. And sure, you can use other people as inspiration. You can say, I, I want to do things like they, what they do, and that's fine, and that's admirable. But you're never going to have what other people have, basically. That's all I got to say about that. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. I thought I'd bring Black for Connor for a little bit here. And I found the blue fluffy pillow. That reminds me a bit of Sully from Monsters, Inc. And now it makes me sad because it, I'm thinking about how this pillow was then made. So I'm going to go. Um, as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome. And I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs>